We are going to journey to this most miraculous tree, the Lord and Forest. And we're going to meet your future self. So I'd like for you to sit back and let's get very clear around what you want to know, right? What you need to believe at the base of this tree today so that those dreams are tangible and real. And I'd like for you to just sit back, get comfortable, close your eyes, and let's go for a ride. How many of you knew that you could fly? How many of you in your bellies as children? Try. Today, we're going to fly. We're gonna go to New, Ze New Zealand and we're gonna meet the Lord of the Forest right here and right now. So let's sit back, get comfy, take three big deep breaths. Now with each exhale, I want you to blow out as hard as you can, lifting your head up. Sending what's not serving you out into the universe to be recycled into something different. One more time. Now, let's bring your awareness to your astral body. Now, what is your astral body? The astral body is the energetic version of your physical body. That's what you can fly with, right? Now, many of us have been in and out and not understand, not having an understanding of what that meant, and it felt very scary. And today we're going to do it on purpose because anything that we have an intention behind, fear melts away. So, I want to speak just for a minute about um, the Lord of the Forest, right? This being like impacted me to such an extraordinary degree. Um, the community that the vegetation created with this being to not only keep him in the ground, but to support themselves under his branches and with it, right? They live together in this most amazing community for thousands of years, thousands of years, right? And I think each of us can walk into this space humbly and recognize that we all have something to learn from one being that could be in community for thousands of years, right? So, now we're gonna have fun, right? This is gonna be fun, and I don't want anybody to be nervous, right? So, we are going to rise up, just kind of like push from your feet, kind of like you're swimming. And we're gonna rise up out of your body. And we're gonna look down and see your body sitting in the room. And we're gonna rise up through the roof of your house. Looking back, you can see your house getting smaller and smaller as you rise. Keep going. So we're going to rise up above the city. 
City Radio 11. You can see traffic. You can hear the noise of life happening down below you. Feels familiar. We rise even higher. Now that we look down, we can see the state that you are in. Is it mostly trees? Is it lots of green? Or are the buildings rising up above the vegetation? Let's pay attention to the details as she move along. The more tactile we experience, the more solidly you're there. Now, as you rise, right, you can see the birds flying around you. And you can almost feel the fluffy clouds on your face, the moisture. Now the birds are receding you. And they're wanting to play. So allow yourself to have some fun. Don't be afraid. Fears melting away. As you're realizing. Gravity doesn't exist here. From your left, you can feel the approach of an enormous eagle. And from your right, approaches a heron. Now the heron brings with it the spirit of calmness and presence a deep, deep inner peace. And that gift is riding inside you. And that eagle brings with it honesty, truth, majesty, and strength. They give us insight as to the energies that are necessary to bring our dreams to life. Down below, you are starting to recognize your region, the edge of life. And we begin our journey across the waters. You feel the mist rising up on our skin. It feels very pleasant. And the life that lives in the waters, they're feeling our presence. A great white whale rises above the surface, blowing its gray horn, saying hello. with it. It's great intelligence and a release of time. Then you can hear the chatter, almost the laughter of the dolphins as they're joining in. Wanting you to loosen up and pray a little bit. Got a few that are rising up, showing off, right? Sharing their tricks with you, trying to make you laugh. Are they being successful? 
You can feel inspired by the presence of the dolphins. You can feel that childlike giggle rolling around in your insides. They're getting you ready to meet the majestic Kane Rahuka, the Lord of the Forest. Up ahead, the seagulls have flown out to meet you, to receive you, and escort you where the water folks have to leave off. No worries, they'll be there to greet you and escort you back. Father Richard. They want you to be aware of the vastness of the water so you don't want to get lost or sidetracked. Now the seagulls, seagulls inspire you with their resilience and endurance. Drink it in. That's you. You can feel your body being revitalized by the gifts that your escorts have granted you along this journey. Up ahead, you see a cloud of green approaching. The key I heard about your journey. They're curious and intrigued by you. You've come such a far away. The key inspire us with their ability to communicate while keeping their individuality. No one needs to be different than who they were intended to be. The girl below can feel the majestic energy. Of the Lord of the forest as his head peaks up high above all that's around him. The Kia, they invite you to sit your feet down at his base. He's been waiting for you. Feel your feet touch the ground. Feel the reverberation of the earth's floor up your leg as you land. Reach out and touch the vegetation around you with the palms of your hands. Feel the leaves. Are they crunchy? Are they small? A bit moist. Can you feel the energy of the plant right around you? Everything around you is growing. with the foul of reverence to the Lord of the, of the forest. We ask his permission 
to touch his amazing breath. We place both hands, palms, lean in with your forehead touching. Chunk. And we ask him to reveal his wisdom on the divine action necessary for your deepest desire to become your reality. When you feel complete, you can push yourself upright with deep gratitude. You thank him for his wisdom and for his willingness to receive. To your left, circling from behind this massive war, comes your future self. You can see them walking around, dragging their palm around his amazing trunk as they reach you face to face. feel very honored. I thank them for taking the time to meet with you today. And they whisper, I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for so long. I was excited when I was told you were coming. We reach out and pull you into the most amazing hug you've ever felt. You can feel your hearts sinking and becoming one. We're in heartbeat. And she says, I am you and you are me. Now they invite you to sit at the base of this grand old tree. You pat the ground beside them and invite you to find your place. Back, rest. from the strength of this ancient being. We invite you to tell them all about your dreams. You want to hear every detail 
all that's happened so far. Because we must remember they did that already. And we know what worked and what didn't. Near complaining. They look at you excitedly and ask, What do you want to know today? What do you want to know right now? Your mind is racing. As you're trying to formulate, there's so much that you want to know. Very calmly, complete understanding. You're invited to stand. Been drawing you into that divine oneness. She leans forehead to forehead, nerves to nerves. And with that exchange of breath, All that needs to be said, all that needs to be known, is transferred. The information that you need to move forward in a state of divine action. It's being laid out right before your eyes. The path right to your dream. And that path starts with your next right choice. And when this transfer feels complete, you're drawn into a deep embrace. You can hear a whisper in your ear. Until next time. And with a smile, they turn away. And quickly disappear behind that grand old tree. And you reach out with your right hand, stroking and stroking, and gratitude. And you can't help yourself, you just lean in for the most giant hug the whole time. And we thank him. We're so grateful for this safe, protected space. This community.
and we're grateful for all those that he has ever helped. All those, all life that he has ever supported. And we're grateful for his intention with us today. As we leave behind all worries, all fears that are weighing us down taking those divine actions. You can feel and hear all of his leaves all the way around him saying where to go. With that, the key had come down. New green swarm. And then lifting you up so that you can remember how to fly again. And we're just getting her hang on it and giving some space. Here I am, Chris. On your own, if you mean you need a name, as they guide you back across the forest, rear and back by the seagulls. And they're amazing seagulls taking you out across the waters. Feel the mist of the water on your face. Feels refreshing. As the creatures of the sea hear your coming. The great whales and the dolphins lead your way across the water, securing so you back firmly on the ground. Where the eagles are the hearing pick up and they get you to your state. And below you can see the outline. And you can feel the approach of your city. see your house emerging from the city. Your body is like a magnet and it's calling you home. So we're going to drop down through the roof of your house, through the crown of your head, into your corpus callosum. Draw the energy behind your eyes back. We're going to fill up your chest cavity. Coming home. And we can feel that energy activating all the brain cells in your heart muscle. And we are aware of that energy is filling up our arms from the inside out all the way down to the tips of each finger. You can feel that reverberation of life on the palms of your hair. Now we're going to fill up your torso from your chest down to your sits bones. You can feel that energy activating all the brain cells in your gut. And this is your wisdom, Sanke. Your gut brain cells working with your heart brain cells connected to your left and right brain. And we're going to take over your legs from your hips to your knees, from your knees to your ankles, and from the ankle to the tip of each toe. 
Now we're going to locate our pulse in the big toe of our right foot, big toe of our left foot. Stretching out our energies of our auric field, six feet from the top of your head, the bottoms of your feet, tip of your nose, your shoulders. Now when you're comfortable, you can open your eyes. Now while things are fresh in your mind, write down everything that you can remember. Everything, every smell, every color, every feeling, every thought, as much as you can remember. Now before we open this circle, I'd like for you to draw this energy, the energy of this grid, the energy of creation, the energy of the rainbow. And we're going to wash this in over our bodies, drinking in the energy of inspiration, creativity, and childlike wonder. Now, as I open up this circle here tonight, I send this energy out into the universe as building blocks for creation. Inner, hallelujah, I see this done, so mote it be. Amen.